We are here with Andrew Callender, one of the guys to beat in the livestock show competition. Andrew, tell us about the prizes that you win today. I don't know much about them. <laughs> I just go for the win. Um, today wasn't a bad day. A little disappointed with how uh, some of the judging went, but that's not a problem because the little bull, he's going to come back because he's a replacement for heavy water. So as soon as heavy water leaves, he's up. So that's not a problem for me. But I think that the judging needs to be adjusted somewhat, you know. But I believe that um, a lot of people were happy with the result. Were you happy? No. No. Uh, to be quite honest, I had a little bit to win. That's the truth. I had to win, you know. So if he was going up against the big, bigger boy, you know, they would give him because the bigger boy heavy. But I know the information that they have on the two of them because I bred both of them. And the little one at the same age is making more gains and things like this. What I can say about heavy water is that he's never lost condition. So I'm happy about that, you know, so... He'll go home and go stud. What about the best in show? Because I know that you took home that prize. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that one felt good. Mm -hmm. That one felt good. And that is personal, but that one felt good. Just, just, just leave it at that. And that is for the guys in the, in the smaller category. Mm -hmm. That win is for them. All right, so I've got to come back next year for a win for myself. That win was for the, the guys in the under year category because we were all put out and I hope that they can rectify that problem next year. I also saw you feeding him some water in the ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they, he wrecked the front of my truck and they came out one night and they talked to him and he just looked at me and I just said that he told me he can give me something later on. And he started to deliver for me, and I think within the next six months, he gonna even do, repay me even more. That's the truth. But how did you get him in this or her um, temperament? Because he was very cool. He wasn't like fussy or angsty like the others in the ring. Well, you can't go to an ignorant owner and an ignorant cow as well. So, you know, if the owner ignorant, then the cow will be good. Now, all my cows are good. I don't keep animals that are gonna give trouble. I, I can't I can't afford that. You know. But he he's very level headed, you know, and not not aggressive at all. But he gives his dominance, his presence is always there, you know. So it ain't no problem. You can see by the type of rope that is that he's held with when he's at home, you know. He he don't give trouble. And once you see the girls, he's happy. But that's something that I have realized about all the animals that you show throughout the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to work with them. You got to work with them. And when, you, when you're breeding, it's what you're breeding for. You know, at the end of the day, the easier you can manage the animal, the bigger the return for me. If you have an animal that is going to get away, is going to give you trouble, you know, that's, that's stress, man. And then you're going to apply stress to that animal too as well. No, all my animals are well-tempered and, and things like that. And they eat well, so I have no problems with that. So from here now going home, it is to get the breeding program in place and go from there. Thank you very much, Andrew. No problem, man.